Hi, this is Go Math Lesson 5.10. Um, I'm not going to worry about the first page. We're just going to go here. Maybe you tried a little bit before now. Maybe you didn't, but let's read it. And each time we're ready, pause, try it before you check. That's how your brain grows. Okay. You can write a number sentence to show a problem. So we read it, figure out what the question is, and then figure out how to solve the problem. Liza has 65 postcards. She gives 24 postcards to Wesley. How many postcards does she have now? So what's the question? How many postcards does she have now? She started with 65. She gave 24 away. So we're trying to find out how many she has left. So. Whenever you subtract going this way, it's really difficult. Always line it up going down. And when you did it this way, it looked like there was no regrouping because you can do 5 minus 4 is 1. 6 minus 2 is 4. So she has 41 postcards now. Okay. So, number 1. There were 32 birds in the trees. Then 18 flew away. How many birds are in the trees now? Figure it out. Write a number sentence. Use a box for a missing number. It might be there. It might be here. It might be here. You figure it out. Pause. All right. Did you resume? Let's try. Okay, so there are 32 birds in the tree. 18 flew away. So we know we're going to take it away. You can line it up the way your parents do. 2 minus 8. Can you take 8 from that too? No. So you must take the 10 from here. And now you have 12. So you just started with 32. You need to take away 18. You can't. You have to explode that 10. And that's what we did right there. We took that 10 and put it there. So took that 10 and put it into with the ones. So now we have 12 ones. 12 minus 8 equals 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 14 birds. And the way this looked like is 32 minus 18 equals uh. And then we solved for 14. I guess we should have done that first. Oh well. Let's do that first the second time. Okay. This time, pause and do. All right. Did you resume and you read it all by yourself and you did this first? Let's see. Carla read 43 pages in her book. Joe read 32 pages in his book. How many more pages did Carla read than Joe? Okay, if you think about it, Carla can't read 43 plus 32 because she read 43. We want to know how many more she read. So it's going to be a subtraction problem, comparing. How many did Carla read? Joe read 32. What's the difference? How many more? It's a subtraction. So if we do it like this, 43 minus 32, we can see 3 minus 2. We can do that. You can take 2 from that 3, so you don't need to regroup. 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. 11 more pages. Is that what you got? If not, Try to figure out why you didn't do it right, and that's how your brain grows. Because if it's too easy, your brain's not growing. It's just staying the same. So let's exercise our brains. Okay. So this time, try, ooh, that's a tricky one. Try number three. Pause. Okay. Hopefully you did it. Let's see. There were 40 ants on a rock. Some ants moved to the grass. That's the Part we don't know. Now there are 26 ants on the rock. So we want to know how many ants is that sum? How many moved to the grass? So we know there were 40 on a rock. Some of them moved onto the grass. And now there are 26 left. So we can solve for that box. So we can do this. We can either go 40 minus 26 because when you add those two together you get that. So we can be 40 minus 26 equals that. That's how we can find it. Um, you can't do 0 minus 6, can you? You can't take 6 from nothing. You have to regroup. But another way you can do that is if you start with 26 and you want to get to 40, you can add to find that. 
This is the fun way. Get to the friendliest 10. 26 plus how many? Gets you to 30. So now you're at 30. And now you need to get from 30 to 40. How many more do you need? 10 more. What's 4 plus 10? 14. Let's see if that works this way. 0 minus 6. Can't do it. We have to explode that 10. So we only have three tens left. We took that 10, exploded it. Now we can take 6 away from 10, which is 4. And now we can take 2 away from three tens, which is 1. 14, 14, same, same. Woo -woo, we did it. Okay, math on the spot video. You can find your own math on the spot videos through your Clever. If you look for math on the spot and you go to Chapter 5, Lesson 10 in second grade, you'll find that video. Um, if you want to stop and find it, go for it, and then come back. Otherwise, try it on your own. Pause. Okay, we're back. Keisha had a bag of ribbons. She took, okay, she had a bag. We don't know how many are in the bag. She took 29 out of the bag. Now there's 17. How many were there to start with? That's the question. So we don't know how many are there to start with. That's what that means. But she took 29 out, and she got 17. She has 17 left. So when you do that, that's the whole thing, and that's the part part. And if your parents see this, they're going to say, what? 29 and 17 is this. So if you add up those two numbers, you'll find that answer. Now, there are different ways you can add that up. You can do it the regular way that your parents do. Or you can say, hey, 29 is really close to 30, so I'm going to turn that to 30. And if I do one more here, I have to take that one from there. And then 30 plus 16, you can do that in your head. What is it? Yeah. Let's see if it works that way. 9 plus 7 is 16. 2 and 1 and 1 is 4. Yep. Any way you figure that out, if you got 46, you're on the ball. If not, try to figure out where your mistake was. That's how your brains grow. Okay, now that you're all exercised up, go deeper. Try it by yourself. Pause. Okay, let's see. There are 50 bees in a hive. Some fly out. That's that some. If fewer, ooh, if fewer than 20 bees are still in the hive, how many bees have could have flown out? So this is kind of like, hmm, how do I do this? Did you figure that out or are you waiting for me? And if you're waiting for me, I get it. Okay, we know there are 50 bees in a hive. We know that some flew out. How many are left? Fewer than 20. So... This answer is less than 20. Would one have flown out? No. Would two have flown out? No, because then there'd be 48. We want less than 20. How are we going to figure that out? And I wish I heard all of your voices screaming at me, telling me how to figure it out. And I know you are. I just can't hear you. So tell me, what do you do? What do you do? Well, 20 plus how many is 50? What did I hear? Oh, did I hear 30? So 50 minus 30 is 20. And this has to be less than this has to be more. Right? So could you have said one bee flew out? No. Could you say 49 bees flew out? Yeah, because if you do 50 minus 49, how many are left? One. Is one less than 20? Yes. So any number that you picked that is greater than 30 will give your answer as less than 20. Did I just mess up your brain big time? Is it saying, oh my gosh, I need a break because my brain hurts? Well, that was a pretty cool one. That was really tough. Kind of fun. Wish we were doing it together. Um, so work it out. See what you come up with. There are probably, I don't know, 19 different choices. And all of them are right. 
if the number is between 30 and 50. Because if you did more than 30, your aunt flew out, you'd have less than 20 left, which is what you want to know. Oh my gosh. Is the next page harder? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, this is my favorite kind of stuff. Okay. Brendan made this number line to find a difference. And the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. What was he subtracting from 100? So, you want to try to figure that out by yourself? If you do, pause. I'll make your brain grow. Okay, let's see. If he went from 100 to 80, how many did he take away? Did you say 20? Good. Then he went from 80 to 60. How many did he take away? Did you say 20? Good. Then when he went from 60 to 57, how many did he take away? How many did he hop back? Three. So what's 20 plus 20 plus 3? Did you say 43? Yeah, because he hopped back 20, then he hopped back 20, then he hopped back 3. And if you wrote all that down, you are on the ball. And if you figured it out by thinking and you could explain it to a grown-up, you're on the ball. And I'm taking this math class on how to grow your brains. And that's the kind of stuff you do. If you can explain it, you understand it better. So give it a try. This is a kind of a cool question that you could make up yourself and ask somebody else that's older in your family and see if they could figure it out. Pretty cool. Okay, last one. There are 52 pictures on the wall, 37 are wildcats, and the rest are birds. Okay, how many pictures are the birds? You're gonna use these tiles to complete the number sentence, but you're not going to use all of the tiles. So you figure out which tiles you're going to use. 52 pictures on a wall, 37 are wildcats, the rest are birds. Figure out which tiles you need to make a number sentence and then solve it. Pause. And resume. Did you start with the 52? Of course you did, because that's how many that were on the wall. Did you use the minus sign? Let's hope so, because we're finding the difference between, or seeing what the other bird, how many birds there are. So we took away the 37, and we had to use the equal sign. So we did this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. The answer is not going to be an equal sign. No. The answer is either going to be 15, or it's going to be 25. Hmm. I think this is something we're just going to have to work out. You can do it two ways. You can start with, what plus 37 more equals 52? You can do a hop up method, or you can do the standard, what the grown ups know how to do. But you can't go up the slide, you have to go down. You can't take 7 from 2. You have to take a 10, so you have 4 10s left, and now you have 12 ones, so you just exploded that 10. And 12 minus 7, 5. 4 minus 3, 1. But let's see if you hop up. 37 to 40 is 3. And now you're at 40. 40 to 50, 10. 50 to 52, 2. It's 10 plus 3 plus 2. Why it's 15. There you go. Okay. Do the homework to make yourself even smarter. Tomorrow I do need to teach you this. Um, you know what? I will do another... YouTube video on this so you can get a head start and then later Friday I want you to try to take this chapter 5 review test and have a grown up see how you do. Okay. See you later alligators. Bye.